Hey guys, today I want to show you a few things about almond milk, specifically store-bought almond milk that I, I think that the producers of it don't want you to see. And full disclosure, part of me is pretty aggravated with what I found. We've been buying store-bought almond milk every week for like the last six years. And the other part of me is actually feeling pretty good about what I know now. I think you'll see what I mean in a minute. First of all, store-bought almond milk is so expensive for what's actually in it. And the numbers are staggering because we're all led to believe that almonds are really expensive. and they are. They're not cheap. The non-fancy, non-organic, non-raw, they're usually around 10 bucks a pound. So how many dollars worth of almonds are you getting in these cartons? It depends on the brand of almond milk. This one from Trader Joe's has about $1.25 worth of almonds. And this very popular brand, Almond Breeze, has even less. Under a dollar worth of almonds. 93 cents. And when you buy a carton of these, the one on the left is usually around $2.99. That's a 2.4x markup. And the one on the right, Almond Breeze, I just picked up Minnesota, not a remote island or New York City or San Francisco, $4.69. Or even worse, a 5X markup. So what's actually in these almond milks? Well, there's a few almonds. For every eight ounce serving of this almond beverage on the left, there are generously eight almonds. And for both of these Almond Breeze brand almond milks, generously six almonds. In Almond Breeze Original, there's seven grams of sugar and then a bunch of ingredients to get it to look and feel like thick, luscious, creamy almond milk. Sunflower lectin and other binders to get it to stick together and to thicken it. There's some preservatives for sure. And then there's the additives that help the guys that sell this stuff tell the story they want to tell. Our almond milk has almost double the amount of calcium as cow's milk, fortified with vitamin D, vitamin E. Here's the other weird thing about store-bought almond milk. There's a lot of mysteries. How do they get it to exactly 30 calories? Where's all that sodium? coming from i mean like 1500 times the amount of sodium that's in just almonds these guys they don't want you to know what real almond milk tastes like it tastes like almonds it's decadent you put it in your coffee and your coffee is going to taste like you added creamer to it and the guys behind these almond milks do not want you to know that making your own almond milk is really easy you might think as i did well almonds are brown and water is clear so how the heck do you make white almond milk well all you have to do is blend up some almonds and water and you get almond milk any blender will do people you can add dates to make it sweet you can add some cocoa to make it chocolate almond milk it's literally the easiest thing ever and if you want to strain it get rid of some of that dietary fiber make it more of a smooth consistency that's pretty easy too guys go easy on yourselves this is probably still going to be a transition for us to phase out store-bought almond milk and guys subscribe to our channel if you haven't already hit that bell to get notified if you appreciate videos like this hit that thumbs up thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.